So I'm back working on the farm all C. So if you didn't watch the previous video, I picked up this farm all C. We got it running and then tore it all apart to paint it. Put it together this far, fired it up, pushed in the clutch, went to put it in gear. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to split a Farmall C. In my experience, you can't really get these things to come unstuck just by holding the brakes, pushing the clutch, holding the brakes, or tying it to a tree and starting it in gear. Best way to do it is you just have to split the tractor, which if you have a engine hoist like this and the splitting stands is not very hard. So people are probably gonna wonder why we're splitting the tractor after painting it. And actually what happened was we got this tractor running like two days after we brought it home and the clutch worked. I put it in gear, went forwards and backwards two or three feet. So we started taking it apart and cleaning it up. And when we were cleaning it, we must have sprayed some water into the clutch bell housing to clean out some mouse nest. And we think that is what caused the disc to become stuck to the flywheel. So we're in this position. The only way to fix it is to split the tractor. So let's get started. Of course, you're gonna have to take off the sheet metal, the hood and the grill. Then the two control rods. So there's going to be the choke rod here, then on the other side, there's going to be the throttle rod, which I already have off. And the two wires to the generator. The one wire to the coil. The hydraulic lines. I had one of my friends cut a plate out here with his plasma table to block that off. Otherwise, you'll just have oil draining out of there. Then I also made a plate for the hydraulic pump. Then you're gonna have to take the gas tank off and the steering shaft, which you should just be able to take off those two bolts and these three here. All right, got the gas tank off and starting to take the steering wheel off. Ah, there it goes. All right, now I wanna set up the stands here. So I made these for the Farmall B. I don't see why it won't work for this tractor. Might want to take this off. That's going to be close there, getting that bolt off. So here's how I have this rigged up. This chain splitter going to this bolt hole with the 3 8 grade 8 bolt and this lifting eye. Same thing over here. This is where the air cleaner went. And then I have the splitting stand set up there with the jack. And then I have the strap right here with the uh, safety tear so that the front end doesn't want to tilt either way. So now I can start 
taking these bolts off. Okay, you can already see it starting to split on its own there. Now, what you can do is come in the bottom here, pry bar right there. Yeah, and you can look at the gap here is a lot wider than up there. So, it's gonna lift up the engine hoist a little. More? Yeah. All right. Pretty even gap going on there. Now, let's just slide it apart. I find that it's easier to roll the tractor backwards than it is to roll the um, splitting stand forwards. But I don't think it's going So now we can take off the pressure plate. Okay, so now the bolts on the pressure plate are all out and it just comes right off. There's the clutch disc. Yeah, it was a little stuck. Just remember this side it goes out. Plenty of material on the clutch. So now we can clean this up with the wire brush. And then put it back together. Here's the pressure plate. Alright. Got the flywheel cleaned up, as well as the input shaft. Now I'm getting ready to put the old clutch disc back on. I don't see any problems with it, so why not reuse it? This is just a piece of an input shaft that I got from a junkyard to use that as an alignment tool. Here's the pressure plate cleaned up. You hold that on there. You want to make sure there's no broken springs on the pressure plate. Tighten down all the bolts evenly and just pull the input shaft out. It's important if you're using one that you cut from an old input shaft, it's important to cut a notch here. Otherwise, the air, otherwise it'll be stuck in that bushing because you, it'll be such a tight fit that you won't be able to pull it out. This is the hardest part of splitting a tractor, rolling it back together. Almost there. Probably have to spin the input shaft. So right now what I think the problem is, is the way I had the uh, this input shaft installed could be a tiny bit rotated from where the input shaft in the tractor is. So now I'm just going to spin the engine over a little bit. You want to be careful though, you don't want to try and pull the tractor all the way together with the bolts or force it together because you could be breaking things. It should go together nice and easy with the bolts.
We got the hydraulic lines on. Now we can fill it with some hydraulic oil. All right, now let's try this again. Now that we know the tractor mostly works, we can put the grill and hood on. Well, the sheet metal doesn't align perfectly, but it's pretty good. So the clutch works really well and the engine runs well on this tractor. Everything seems to work mechanically. So now I want to put the decals on. There's one thing with this sheet metal that we didn't notice before. If you look at it from this angle, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but the sheet metal, it looks like a tree or something fell across the hood like that. And that is pushing down this whole corner and that's making this gap wide and it has like you can see something fell right across like that here's the decals I got these are our mylar decals so the difference between the mylar and vinyl ones the vinyl ones are gonna have a clear border around everything so it's like one big sticker Here's what the set comes with. Just wipe off any dust or anything that could be on here. Now, we take the backing off. Start from the inside, work your way out. What I like to do sometimes is put, line up the decal and then put tape along the corners of it so that when you go to put it on, you know exactly where it goes and you're not trying to hold the sticky part off and align it. You can get someone to help you line it up. You really don't want to mess that part up. Beautiful.
So I took off the drawbar because it makes it much easier to clean up all the parts and prime and paint them. This far thank you for watching I'm pretty much done with this tractor of course no matter how much work you do to an old antique tractor like this you're never really done it always takes a little bit of tinkering to keep it running my mouth is about frozen right now it's very cold so thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one